Oh, the ship is sinking. What the heck? It's sinking so fast. I don't have a lifeboat. Today, I'm going to be driving this utility vessel into the Bermuda Triangle. Let's get started. All right, so let's look at this thing's interior. Enter the wheelhouse here. Okay, okay. It kind of looks like a crab boat, but this is a utility vessel. So, I mean, it's kind of made for, like, rescuing people. They did say that. I mean, it's a Coast Guard utility vessel. It even says Coast Guard on the side of it. But let's get this thing started. All right, so if I'm going to have to guess, we're going to have to click ignition and then put the throttle up. Is that all we have to do? Oh, my gosh. You like, easiest thing ever. Okay, well, that's good. Um, We are off. So let's go ahead and open our our map here zoom out a little bit oh gosh i think we're like already in it so right here is the bottom of the bermuda triangle and it like goes up here so over here is like the center of it right over there so we're gonna be doing a u-turn here we got like five kilometers to go but while we're going over there we can kind of look at what we got going on in here so let's just kind of finish this u-turn here this thing has some pretty good turning oh yeah let's kind of test its stability you try rocking it around try maybe like capsizing we're not gonna try capsizing it but we're just gonna like see like, I'm doing really hard turns back and forth here like this, and it's, like, trying to flip it over. I think it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, this thing's definitely made for this. But, all right, I think we're good to kind of run through a bit of a tour of this thing. If we don't hit any of these rocks below us here, that's going to be pretty close. I think we'll be fine, though, but we are on full speed. We have 7,400 liters of fuel. Okay, that is pretty good. But up here, we have our actual wheelhouse. Let's turn on some lights over here. So, lights, running lights, spotlights. There we go. So, now we have, like, some exterior lights. Okay, now it looks pretty cool. All right, so, yeah, this is the wheelhouse. We have our map right here, which we can touch so that's where we're at the big red dot and then everything else is the map all right so we have a clock there like a co-pilot see let's go down here we have a heater oh that's a really cool heater setup this looks like the captain's quarters right here right behind it and then we can see the island we're going past right now oh yeah but that's basically what there is for over here we're gonna go outside here so over here we actually have like a little spotting area we can look over the deck make sure everything's looking good of course and then back here we have some spotlights that we can actually rotate, which is awesome. Um, some flotation devices, I think, maybe. I don't know. And up here, we have a additional helm. Is this like the emergency helm? Fly bridge. Okay, so can we turn it from here? Um, yes, we can. Okay, that's cool. And then we can activate reverse from here. And then we also have a throttle control on that. And then some more um, lights, of course. So let's go kind of like below here. Oh, oh gosh. But like I was saying, let's kind of go below here, not fall off the boat. There we go. All right, so let's enter this right here. Dude, this thing is like packed with interior. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like where the front of the boat is at we're gonna look at all that stuff in there in a second here but we have a it's a pretty big little cargo area so we can walk in here it's a massive tank so let's get out of that thing if you got trapped in there that would suck but we're gonna close that what's going on over here so we have our ropes over here which is awesome all right we have a whole bunch of ropes and then all the way up here we have is this our winch um in and out i'm guessing oh yes it is okay so we have a winch right here this is the bow of the boat um it's looking clear out here i don't think we're gonna hit anything but yeah it's getting really deep you can't even see the bottom anymore which is probably good but let's kind of tour like inside of the boat here so let's enter the passageway and right here we have is this a medical why is there a medical thing all right it's coast guard yeah that's why um okay so that's cool we have some two thermal clothings just in case it gets cold with an entire medical bed that is awesome oh my gosh downstairs okay so here we have some normal cabins um it's about the same as the captain's quarters but you got two portholes which is awesome so you can see the cool mountains actually outside of your boat there and then right here we have another cabin with a bunk bed hold on did this one have a bunk bed um no it didn't pretty cool and then over over here we have our mess hall perfect this looks really nice looks exactly how i think it would so we're gonna turn on these lights all right so this is where we would eat at drink our coffee look at the time awesome and then over here we actually have the kitchen where we make stuff at with our cool um view of the outside of course so pretty cool um this is the interior and then this is like the janitor's closet or the bathroom um kind of looks like both of them i don't know but that's basically what there is for this entire um deck right here but we can go below the water line is there any like hatches up there no okay so we didn't miss anything all right so now we're going below the water line there will be no windows down here this is the actual engine room of the boat so this is our powerful large engine right here with a whole bunch of transmission generators that's why our electric always is at one because these boats normally have generators on them that are connected to the main engine here so we have a clutch gearbox and whatever that is all right cool so then we have a firefighting equipment and bilge pumps which actually lead to the main hall over here somewhere in the main hall uh there are bilge pumps in there but we're gonna activate lights in here oh yeah all right so we have our radiator right here with a whole bunch of welders um underwater and above water welders just in case there's water in here for some reason with a fire extinguisher just in case i probably should not have just uh wasted that but yeah that's basically the boats and then what is this hall water level okay that is useful but yeah we are entering the bermuda triangle right now it's um pretty nice out i'd say it's nice for the bermuda triangle but um honestly i've said oh um okay it's starting to Rain. i'm gonna get inside then i'm getting in the actual enclosed helm here i'm not trying to get wet of course so we're going to go in the wheelhouse here close the door behind me all right so now we're in here it's nice and cozy with our heater going on of course the waves are a little bit patchy today it's not like bad at all i've definitely seen worse they're like some waves are like higher than the entire boat themselves so i think we're
we're fine for today. All right, so I kind of want to go on deck. Even though it is raining, I want to see like how you use those um, cranes right there. So we have some pretty big cranes on that thing that I kind of missed. So we're going to go up here and go on this crane operator controller. So A and D is left and right. W and S actually extends the crane down and up with a really fast winch. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we can spin it around um, unlimitedly, I think. Okay, it's a velocity. Okay, so that's cool. We can do that. And then we can do winch down, which will lower the winch on that rope right there, which nothing's connected. But that's basically how you control this. We could like smack the helm with it, um, do some crazy stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, we need to stop with that. Bring it back up. Um, let's not destroy anything yet. Okay, we're gonna park that right there. All right, so let's go ahead and make ourselves some dinner real quick. It's really getting wavy out there. Do you guys feel all that? Oh my gosh, what is going on? I left for like two seconds. Okay, so we're just gonna make ourselves some food. Kind of ignore what's going on out there. That's pretty insane. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, what are we making? Who knows? We're just gonna make ourselves some food. All right, we're gonna make that. And just go sit down right here with our coffee mug. Um, what is that? Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Probably a cup and then that is a, I have also have no idea, probably a really big uh, mug for some reason. But yeah, that's what we got going on here with a cool uh, design right here of our clock. So, oh yeah, we're just gonna be eating our food here. It is really, what in the world? There's water crashing over deck. Oh, this is not good. Um, I hope this thing's made for it. It definitely is. It's part of the Coast Guard. You know, they make the best of the best equipment. So I think we'll be fine out here. Um, let's enter our cabin. This is our, although my captain's quarters is upstairs, I prefer this cabin right here. Honestly, I like it much better. So we can go in the bed here. We can go to sleep and change the time, but I don't think we need to do that. It's honestly the perfect time right now. So yep, we're just chilling in our cabin and everything's looking good what should we we should probably go check on the engine room here um where's the engine room engine room um was it over here yes it was okay engine room's looking good wait a second primary display 2900 wait what isn't that supposed to be at zero um we have water in the main hall currently um let's see i don't see any water is this isn't the main hall isn't the main hall like in front of us up here um yes yeah, so this is the main hall right here i don't see any water though i mean I've definitely seen worse. Okay, well, whatever it is, we're gonna be activating bilge pumps. Yeah, there's water in there. See, it's going down. What in the world? Um, is there like a leak on the deck or something? Hold on, let's go in third person here and kind of see what's going on. Um, no, I think we're fine. I closed all the doors, right? That one's closed. That door's closed. Um, all the hatches are closed. I think, yeah, everything's good. Um, I don't know what's going on with the boat, but we got, a, I think we have like a water leak somewhere. Okay, it's all at zero now. Okay, so now it's staying at zero. I think we're good now. All right, so there's a Bermuda Triangle actual island over there. We're gonna go over there kind of explored i've never actually explored an island on the bermuda triangle before so that seems interesting uh we are full throttle uh 6700 how, how much did we spawn with like 7000 so we've lost like 300 already 250 but what's on that island over there let's go out here and kind of see um okay oh i see a crate those have money on them normally um this isn't my career series so it's not gonna like benefit us at all but i mean it's pretty cool at least we know there's money on there maybe it's a snake island imagine it's just like a full of snakes when we go over there okay um we're gonna get ready to throw this thing in reverse if that is a case here but um it's looking clear out here pretty rainy though not actually it's not clear at all matter of fact but look at that windmill over there that thing is spinning holy okay um is that a person up there no that's like a radio tower thing but it has this like navigation light let's get ready to actually dock on this island here see what's going on on the bermuda triangle islands all right here we go we're coming into dock um there's not a single dock in sight on this island obviously but um do we have like bow and stern thrusters on this thing we have a heading hold i saw um bow and stern thrusters maybe out here over here no that's our rotate okay uh but we don't have any bow or stern thrusters we do have a reverse um how, do we, how about we test that right now just so we can actually get out of here so reverse is on and it is spinning us um the propeller's not okay there we go all right yeah reverse works okay it took a little bit to engage i was a little bit worried there but it does indeed work so we're gonna go forward now all right so what's going on on this island here we're gonna kind of like dock ourselves kind of like this um i'm kind of feeling like the waves are gonna like push us away though um our propeller's like kind of trying to push us up i think it'll be fine all right here we go um let's see what's going on up here how do we get over there again i don't know oh um okay i guess we're doing this um that'll work okay all right uh let's see what's going on on this island here is our boat gonna take off here um it kind of looks like it's going to okay you know we need to hurry this up all right so we got a little island here um rock island of course that's what they call this one right here um there is a crate over there let's see if there's actually money in it i'm actually pretty curious so let's go up here um our boat is still over there somewhere so that's all that matters i see it's like exhaust trickling up okay and yes there is a crate right here let's see how much it is ten thousand dollars dude that would have really helped me in my career game okay well that's pretty cool though all right yeah but that's basically this island here uh bermuda triangle island i'm surprised there's not like body there's another crate what in the world okay well i was gonna say i'm surprised there's not bodies on this island because it's like the bermuda triangle you know
you know, like people were probably trying to like swim to this island when their boat sank because that's like normally what goes on in the Bermuda Triangle. I can say that because it's like basically a whole bunch of nothing, but this is like one of the only islands in the Bermuda Triangle. So we're gonna go back to our boat here and make sure we don't actually lose it. That would suck. All righty, boat, boat, boat. Um, oh, it's in the water completely. Okay, we need to get on it. Oh, um, how do we get on it? Okay, we're gonna try jumping on it like this, maybe. Um, I can't I can't get on it. Is there like a ladder or something? Okay, we don't want to swim near the propeller. I can say that. I'm looking for a ladder. Um, there's not a single ladder inside. How do you even board this thing if you go overboard? What? There we go. Okay, I jumped on it. Let's go on our passageway here. Throw this thing in reverse because we need to get the heck out of here. We're not trying to. I think we're like really damaging our hull right now just from these like rocks. So we're gonna put it in reverse just like that and start reversing. All right, reverse is on. This thing does have a really powerful reverse. I can say when it does actually eventually kick on. So there we go, we're in reverse. Oh, uh oh, um, this is a very interesting angle. Okay, we're gonna turn off reverse here. Oh, it's really starting to get rough out here. Oh my gosh. Um, did you, I think we're like entering a storm right now or something. Look at all these clouds that just rolled in. We're definitely entering a storm right now. Okay, I'm gonna get inside here. We can get below deck here just from over here. So we don't have to go outside ever again, probably. Um, unless of course the worst happens. Oh my god, look at these waves. There's no way this thing's made for these types of waves. Okay, um, yeah, it's kind of, actually it's not going over deck. Um, yes it is. Okay, so if we had that door open right there, any of these doors on deck, actually, we'd be flooding just because this thing actually cannot float high enough, basically. Actually, well, it floats plenty high. It's just like, you know, these waves are pretty big. Captain to crew, captain to crew, everybody get to their crew dorms immediately. We are having some storm troubles out here. We are in a storm, or we're at least entering one i can say that um it's getting pretty rough out here so please hold on to something and be careful all right everything's looking good over here we got our passageway oh we're gonna close that that's a big wave oh um okay that might have let a little bit of water in okay let's go in our engine room here what in the world up uh Oh, oh, um, the floor is completely filled with water. Okay, what's going on? What the heck? Um, why is there water in here? Dude, what happened in here when I was gone? Okay, um, let's go over here. See what's going on on here. 11,000 liters of water. Dude, that is so much water. Um, okay, how, what do we do? Um, bilge pumps, bilge pumps. Bilge pumps are being activated. Okay, now it's going down very slow. Okay, guys, I think we need to go back up there. It's getting really rough. I don't know what's going on. It's getting really bad. All right, what's going on up here? Yep, that is what a storm looks like. All right, we're in like the heart of the storm or something like that all right this is really bad rain is pouring down right now yep everyone clear decks clear decks i uh, probably should have done that a long time ago if you haven't already i'm not seeing any other boats out here which is a little bit worrying because there normally is a whole bunch of boats do we have like sonar or radar on this thing we don't what in the world um so a little bit concerning there um yeah but nothing else out here besides me i think right now all right we just woke up from our beautiful nap let's go out here on the bridge so or actually the crows what are whatever it's called okay we're gonna go up here to the, uh, the helm or the control area all right it's looking what much better out here what in the world happened when i was asleep dude it is looking really nice why aren't we moving though what the heck our propeller wasn't even moving that entire night dude we went to absolutely nowhere oh come on okay well i'm definitely getting fired after that one we just had the engine on idle that entire time oh no well now that we've lost 500 liters of fuel from that um let's go check up on the engine room again because that was a little bit concerning what we saw yesterday all right engine room engine room oh that's not good it's like puddling up in here dude oh my there's so much water and it like disappears and then goes back here once like it leans back to the boat what the heck um yeah that's an issue um water level water level um 18 000 liters okay so what we need to do here is um bilge pumps don't work um those don't work like literally at all but um i don't know what what do you even do in this situation we don't have any water leaks anywhere on the outside of the boat like did we accidentally hit a rock maybe when we boarded that island i don't know i mean that 100 could be a possibility though oh geez these waves really started slowing down here um yeah we're floating normal though i'd say quite normal um it's a little bit low on the front wait what the heck it is pretty low on the front i am noticing that right now um is that helicopter over there um able to help us out maybe um no they don't look like they give a care in the world okay so what's going on out here water is really close to starting to pour over deck oh um what the heck um it's starting to actually go over deck right now what's going on are we taking on water like right now what the heck it would have to be like an insane amount of water for it to start piling over deck like this oh what the heck okay um we might have to emergency stop right now emergency stop emergency stop here we go shutting down the engine oh my gosh water is starting to pile over deck do we 
have a lifeboat. Um, is that a lifeboat right there? No, I don't know. I don't think that is. I can't like inflate that. Um, let's see. What do we have going on here, dude? There must be so much water down in our main hall somewhere. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, there definitely is. Okay. Um, we're gonna check the engine room again. I'm gonna close these doors. I, I hope they're watertight. I think they are. We're gonna close those. They definitely are. Okay, so engine room, engine room. Oh, oh, I can swim in the engine room. Oh, this is really bad, guys. We're definitely taking on some type of water of some sort. Okay, we're gonna go back up here. Open this door. Oh, don't open that. Oh my dude, we can't even get out of this thing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just go on the top right here. If we ever do need to get out, we'll just go out here. So yeah, uh, practice. Yep. But there is currently water actually flooding over the deck right now. I don't know why, but that's really rough. All right, so where's our radio in this thing at? We need to start displaying some SOS signals. Um, radio, radio. What the heck? There's no radio. Um, what the? Okay, radio. Maybe it's down here in the cabins. Any radios in the cabins? Looking for radio. We need radio right now. What? Oh, um, maybe the engine room. The okay, engine room has a little bit of water in it, but um, no radio in sight. What kind of boat is this? Okay, you know, um, this is really bad. This is probably one of the worst things we've ever had happen. We can't even communicate with anyone because there's not a radio in this thing. Oh, there's water. Okay, yep, we can't even get out of that. But this is definitely an issue. There should not be like water going this far over deck like this, like absolutely ever. That's so bad. Oh, we're filling up with water. Oh, um, light boats like need to be here right now. Look at this thing from third person. This thing's going straight down from the bow, I think. So much water. It's going over our second deck right now. What the heck? Um, this boat's sinking for no reason. Dude, the Bermuda Triangle is actually so cursed. I don't know what's going on here. Um, we're gonna stay in our helm here. Go below here. Any water over here? Oh, it's actually starting to go above the ladder. What in the world? Um, it's completely over the porthole right there, almost. Um, I'm gonna get up here. Completely lock myself down in the bridge here. Um, oh, oh my gosh. It's going down right now. It's going down. Oh, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Go, 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 go. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, the ship is sinking. What the heck? It's sinking so fast. I don't have a lifeboat. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're on the stern of the ship right now. This is really bad. It's going completely vertical and it's going down. What in the world happened to our boat? The propeller is still spinning. Well, um, there that thing goes. What in the world just happened to our boat? That thing is gone. Who knows why that thing sank? But there it goes. It is filling up with water insanely fast. And it's going to hit the bottom. The bottom is actually pretty deep over here. So um, there it is. Hitting the bottom. Oh my gosh. That thing's going down fast. Oh, it's completely crushed in the hall right there. Um, Yeah, I don't know why that thing sunk so fast. But that was pretty crazy. The Bermuda Triangle does not play around. But that's probably going to be it for this video. Let me know what we should do next in the Bermuda Triangle. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.